Welcome back to the Basel Open in Switzerland. We are about to start the game between two Belgian teams, Gentlemen and Mooncatchers. Mooncatchers in the white and Gentlemen in the green. Both teams having a bit of a mixed day yesterday. So Mooncatch is having uh, three wins. And gentle, a close loss for one point to Cusp in early in the day. Uh, winning by two points over Fab in the last session yesterday. And uh, beating Isna Good, who we just saw in the earlier streamed game here, uh, taking the win there 13-9. So, team, so credit to them for being able to get such a cute, uh, close game against them. All right, so Mooncatchers are uh, coming in with the three wins. Could be considered the uh, favourites. Both these teams coming from the same place means that they've probably played against each other and with each other in various tournaments at various levels. So it'll be interesting to see uh, the dynamics and uh, how they go in this game today. Lots of smiles from this main captain's team. The teams are really enjoying themselves. going right out the back of the end zone. I believe floating out will be a brick mark taken. And at this stage of the game, everyone just uh, taking their time, settling the nerves. No need to rush. Got 100 minutes of game time. Yeah. 
a little bit of first game nerves, first game jitters, the adrenaline pumping a bit to uh, influence that through. Mooncatch is now with the disc, having to work it back all the way down the other end of the field, but doing that quite quickly. Spearing pass there, came with a lot of heat. Nice swinging pass there. Hander in the middle, wondering if it was meant for them, but held back and didn't try to make something out of nothing. A big floaty pass to a contested area and a nice take there from the gentle defender. Yeah, the <laughs> unfortunately that same player just stood and waited for that disc and the uh, moon catcher player there was uh, very quick to intercept. Bit of physicality there. Very close to the, to the line. Toes must have just been on the right side of it. And the first score of the game to Mooncatchers. Raf Yonkers there. Um, there's the brother of Ben Yonkers. Got the brother duo here. That's right. There was some discussion about twins yesterday, but uh, we have it on the... Uh, good authority it's uh there is an age difference they are not twins they're just uh similar in their styles and similar in their versatility a little bit of a, a push from the the gentle player there yeah a little bit be of a friendly, it be a friendly push yeah. <laughs> it was a, just an aggressive high five but in the back <laughs> <laughs> Just a pat on the back but with a little bit more force. I've never heard that before, that's amazing. <laughs> Alright, so Mooncatch is now again back on D. Another pull, nice centering and players quick to set up their defence. And uh, a little bit more zone looking. Last time they just went to match. Their zone yesterday was quite effective against, uh, I believe it was Free Speed. It was the last game that uh, we streamed for Moon Catchers. And they've quickly got the turn and they're now again in a position to have another quick break early on in the piece. Oh, with a bit of an ambitious throw, but uh, at this stage of the game, why not? Mm. Oh, flat arrowhead from Mooncatchers. Letting the swings go. That's right, conditions today are fine conditions, not much breeze to speak of. It was a bit dewy on the ground, so the ground a bit wet, uh, which made it for a couple of interesting catches in our first game on our stream and a couple of interesting throws not quite coming out as intended but I'm sure now that the sun is a little bit higher in the sky uh, it'll be a little bit drier out there so hopefully it'll be a bit more clean we'll see a big inside out oh and that is impressive super accurate throw there And that's that uh, throw just not quite coming off before. And a few players earlier in the other, earlier game not keeping their feet um, in the ground that was a bit slippery. We may, that may be a sign of that still part of the conditions. Or it could just have been a little bit out of reach and uh, struggling to get there in time, tripped over. So that last throw must have hit the ground. The disc is now back with Mooncatchers. 
quickly working it through the middle. Gentle now starting to get the more pressure on the disc. Some fast cuts coming from Mooncatchers. Down the line pass. Swinging across and into space. And that is a lovely weighted throw there. Stan De Marie with the score. So not the cleanest point, couple of turns, couple of uh, spicy hammers not quite connecting. Oh, the between the legs fake, you'd love to see it. <laughs> I would like to see our reenacting frame from the earlier game. Show us how that was done uh, in a contested call when the players just did an, a reenactment for everyone about how they perceived it to happen. Wasn't that effective? Uh, no, I think it was effective because he ended up with possession. So. Yes, it was uncontested. <laughs> so convincing his reenactment. Going straight to the movies. I can see he's got his career in Ultimate. Once he's uh, finished his Ultimate career, it'll be straight to the acting. <laughs> so Mooncatch is now with a quick lead. It's only been about just over five minutes. And uh, at the moment, they've, I think both of their points have been uh, break points. Mm. And Gentle's showing some glimmers of... Uh, coming back and uh, at the moment however just not able to capitalize on that and uh, keep those transitions the unforced errors and that uh, moon catchers are not at all letting them get away with you see now Mooncatch is trying to really pin it there on the side with that zone D. Not wanting anything in the middle of the field. It's looking quite effective with the, like we call that fence zone. Those three players in particular are trying to cut them off and keep on running. Still not able to get much distance, but working it now across the field with a little bit more freedom. Nothing on down line, forces it through. Oh, and a great D. It's the goal scorer from previously, doing bits on D. That's right, yeah. Just runs into the best position, gets a hand on it, throws the body on the line. Yeah, just looking at the hands of Artufias. So, Moon catches again with possession. Working it quickly down the field. At the moment, Gentle hasn't been able to slow them down much with any defense. And I think that is something that they will need to look at quickly to stay in the game. Although we did just see is no good. We were down by four points. Come back and go to Universal Point against uh, their opponents from Munich. And that's, oh, it's not again, is it? It is. <laughs> He's all over the field. He also looks, and I know some people do look just very young naturally. It, it, it does. It's a young face. Feel free to hit us up with comments on the YouTube channel now, watching the game. If you do know how old that player is, Looks like he should be accompanied by his parents, but maybe he's actually well into the 20s. However old, very fit and a very capable player. Gentle will need to shut him down. And all the fans there, that's cute. 
Got some fans in the stands, bringing out the signs. So gentle, I think, just taking a moment to uh, maybe get their heads in, in the right place and figure out what they need to do to get some points on the board. That's right, when you're 3-0 in the first 10 minutes, it's definitely something, a time to review. Oh, and thank you very much, and apologies for the pronunciation, Bear Van Bergar. He's uh, informed us that that player is 20 years old. The beauty of the internet, thank you very much. <laughs> the brains crust out there and remember like subscribe look into the membership options for ulti tv so we can keep producing ulti games and uh promoting the game we love the highlights reels that milan and mike do a lot of that when they probably should be sleeping let's be honest and uh, <laughs> instead they eat breathe and they don't sleep but they repeat with Ulti TV. <laughs> Massive dedication from that whole team. Ground looks a lot drier now. Yeah, it's looking a lot what? less shiny and shimmery than before. Mm. A lot less dew on there. And the player with the disc now was quite devastating yesterday. Very big player against the free speed team. Made a huge contribution for the moon catchers. Gentle now, definitely needing to sort out something for the offense. And as well as that, if they do lose possession, they've got to be able to uh, defend against the moon catchers who basically as soon as they've gotten possession have really had not much defensive pressure against them again we're seeing that zone d from moon catchers gentle working it across the field a little bit more now not able to as we just see that they able to penetrate through the center nothing really open on down line though Good, oh, good bid then. Very lucky to come away with the disc. Gentle still in possession. Looking for a breakout player, trying to cut to the corner, but looked off. Really strong force, stopping that. Oh, kept the disc alive, I think, there. Great second effort. Oh, yeah, just in a much better position there. Unfortunately, Gentle. That's probably the most dangerous they've looked so far. And the travel called back at the front of the end zone. A little bit of conservation of greatness on that throw there. <laughs> right, I think this is going to be that diving catch to keep it alive, just save the day. But uh, unfortunately, the wing catchers has now still got position at the end zone, disc now back in. Quickly working it through, as we said before, the defensive pressure of Gentle on the turn hasn't been able to do much, so that will probably have been something they spoke about in that earlier time out. Looks like it has slowed them down a little bit, but Still getting a lot of movement and a lot of distance here. As we see now, Mooncatchers now with their fourth break point. Gentle's sure. offense was a lot better, but um, at the moment, it's not looking like a. Mooncatchers are going to have any mercy for their for their countrymen. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> that zone, especially with the, the deeper mid, sort of the mid-mid there, it seems like it just stifles any kind of upfield option. 
you know, the swings are the swings are also not completely free either because those front two players are quite flat. So yeah, having the disc not a great you know, looking up field, not a pretty picture. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, the gentle squad has a few more players on their roster. Both teams uh, have only about 16 and on Mooncatchers and I think there's about 19 maybe on Gentle. So not quite uh, the biggest list, particularly for Mooncatchers, but they're playing as though their legs are not tired at all. Mm. And uh, I haven't heard of any injuries from the games yesterday for these two teams, but uh, at the moment this zone D really is making the difference. It might even be match up field and then a cup or, or kind of a handler poach. Just looking yeah, at it. It does now. look like they're travelling with their players and not really this holding position there mm. as much, but. Um, Whatever it is, it's working. That's right. I think we have heard the call there is just called up for match D. And we see this one-on-one -on -one contest. The gentle player is in a better position, but not Long able to catch it. <laughs> is that the Murray again? It is. <laughs> Where is well it? <laughs> How many Zamaris are on the field? I thought it was just one of them, but oh, it's everywhere. And that, uh, that's unusual. <laughs> we'll have to look there. I'm not sure if they got a hand onto that throw or a leg, but did not come out as intended at all. Maybe a leg. Maybe oh, a foot a slightly nice. touched it, but um, gentle now again. The chance to get their first score for the game. Not many options in the actual end zone itself. Working across the front, waiting, to, not trying to clog it up. Only a few people in there, and just at the very front of the end zone, there, their first score for the game. So it's now one four. And uh, it's time for the offensive line to have a break because they've been on every uh, point, I believe. So the defensive line of Gentle there, I think their first opportunity really uh, to come out and set something up. It'll be interesting to see if they do a, a bit of a zone as well. Quite possibly. Given how effective Mooncatchers is, why wouldn't you try it yourself? Oh, absolutely. As the captain, Arthur van der Weg, with the score. Probably not pronouncing that right, sorry. So gentle sorting out their line up there. That massive height there of uh, Benjamin Yonkers putting his hand up to show that his team are ready. As he works it across. Oh, massive big throw on. Oh, that's out into space, perfectly weighted. Well, I don't know if. Gentle really had a chance to show us much of their defensive strategies there. No. <laughs> Not with that one throw and did a score situation. So poor O line having to go on again. <laughs> Just a beautiful throw. The outside in coming in beautifully weighted. And a great read. So hard when you're marking a tall handler. Mm. You can see them wind up for the deep shots, but there is very little you can do. <laughs> <laughs> he 
need the go-go gadget arms and hope that somehow they're, they're longer than you think. <laughs> All right, so gentle O-line. They came off after their first score not that long ago. They'll be hoping not to get broken again by moon catchers that are just looking at the moment that they're just going to run away with the game. So they really need to uh, make sure all their throws are precise and they're not forcing anything. Again, we're seeing a bit of that zone set up with the three, but a bit of space there. Not too much pressure on the actual thrower. Gentle, just happy to work it along from side to side, looking for opportunities downfield of which there is nothing really at all. Now working it now, getting a little bit of distance here. As the uh, defenders switch to match D. Closely chop off any options. There's no cut back there. Looks them off, swings it. A pick has been called. And uh, both teams of players running quite hard in very short sprints in the end zone there. Trying to create options and shut them down, respectively. And there we see it is, the second score for Gentle. Much needed goal, now 2-5. The second goal for their captain. And another brother pairing. Um, these teams, which are so similar in their nationalities, also have a pair of brothers. And good patience there from Gentle to just not try to force anything and create something out of nothing. Waiting for. And they're actually in the end with the two gentle players in that space with the backup. That was actually an assist from Aaron to Arthur. So the brother on brother connection for the score. Oh, sibling point. <laughs> I don't know if there's a name for that. Sibling point, I think you've just made it yeah, up. Yeah, we just coined the phrase. It's not as catchy as honeymoon, but we'll, we'll take it. So Gentles now, second time we've seen their D-line running out hard there to try and stop something off. Looks like they are just going for match D, but geez, Moon catches quickly able to get this, although it is to a two-on-one competition. And just two quite tall, gentle players on the moon capture player there. Yeah, and a nice clean D as well. Not too many, uh, not too much of collision or into anyone's space. It was going to be very hard for the moon catchers player to, to beat the two low opponents. Indeed. So gentle now with the chance for their first break of the game, although they are in their defensive end zone, which is always dangerous. Yeah. Oof. Tumble. Right, Yonkers there just committing to that D and going up and over. Oh, a strong grab there under pressure. Gentle now. Not many options in the end zone having to wait, which gives the moon catchers chance to set up their D and match their players, although there are a few close shortcuts coming in. <coughs> Gentle happy just to keep possession and work it between handlers. And as I said that, just uh, that throw not quite coming off and the pressure from the defender was too good. Another turn now with Mooncatchers in position. 
And they're safe hands. We do know he's got these big throws. Just goes for a short one this time. Looking like the defensive pressure from Gentle is now working a little bit better. They're shutting down the options downfield a bit more effectively. But as I say that, they put up the big huck. And a great positioning there from Mooncatchers. That is Martin Willow's third goal of the game. I think all of them have been deep cuts as well. So whoever is defending him is having a really hard time shutting him down deep. That's right. So 6-2 now. Uh, with a half at eight. Game time is 100 minutes for the uh, finals today. And score cap of 15. We just see the replay of that point. Just almost running alongside the disc for a while mm. before it got in front to catch. Got to milk it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A nice, just casual, celebratory, happy smile on the face. No big deal. As we see the gentle O line come back out. They've been successful getting the last three points of their one uh, or last two points, sorry. And then at the moment, I think it really is the defensive somewhat um, line just needs to um, be able to put on a little bit more pressure. Mooncatch is almost looking unstoppable as soon as they have possession of the disc. So again, the handlers just having to work it across side to side. Not many free options down the wings. Gaining a little bit more space this time. Oh, just picks it through the middle. No, again, nothing on downfield. Does a jump, swing. A few couple of cuts, both there. Quite clever to spread out the defenders. But Mooncatcher's putting on the pressure there, not really letting any space in the end zone for big cuts. Having to swing that disc a lot. Waiting for the opportunities. Throw right out on the sideline there. And that is a great catch. <laughs> I don't think they were able to wait for an opportunity and they just had to make one then. Yeah, incredible hard defensive pressure from moon catches. But also equally really nice patience shown by Gentle, just passing it and passing it and passing it and looking for that opening. That's right, and I think it, we'll probably see a few replays of that. It passed very low and very quick from the uh, assisting player there. And the defensive player almost we probably would have had a hand on it as well, so it's very impressive to keep strong hands on it at that position when your body is basically over the top of the disc. Mm -hmm. You can see the disc shining in the sun once again. A glittery frisbee. That's right, so Gentle's starting to get a bit more rhythm. The offensive line, I think, getting used to the Mooncatcher's defence a little bit better having some strategies to work around that zone a bit more effectively. But at the moment, the moon catchers haven't been given much resistance from the defensive line from Gentle. So it'll be interesting to see if they're able to uh, set that up. As we just see a beautiful throw again. I think that is Yonkers again. With DCS, yes. That's Walsh with the goal and the Yonkers is the second assist of the game. That's right, and a couple of the uh, 
Belgian fans there on the YouTube channel in the comments section with a bit of banter trying to say that their team is going to come out with the win. At the moment, it does look like uh, Mooncatchers are uh, not really, they're in a pretty comfortable position. Doesn't look like they're having to work too hard on offense at the moment. But Gentle, I think, are uh, starting to review their strategies and um, if they're able to switch up their defense, they may well get back in it. We did see that with that last game, which went to Universal Point when it was a very similar scoreline to this. New catchers is having to work that much harder to put by points than taking lots of passes. That's right, so some signs of hope for Gentle is now the O line is back on. Again, we're seeing pretty standard defensive strategy from the moon catchers. And uh, those players will probably start to be feeling the effects of having to run the zone, especially the three at the front, as they work back and forth across the field. Now getting a little bit of ground downfield again, nothing on. Call has gone up for the match D. And that's been really impressive so far with Mooncatchers is that when they do call the switch, and you just see a bit of a travel call there, when they do make the switch from zone two, match D, uh, they've made sure that everyone has been covered, which is always a, a rookie mistake, but it happens so easily to even the best teams. So I think that is a testament to the defensive line of Mooncatchers. Oh, and a beautifully weighted throw. Gentle now, 4-7, as we were saying, still still in it. That was a really visionary play, just managing to throw it in between, almost round one defender and slightly in front of the other one. Really, really nicely done. All right, and if you're just tuning in, this is day two of Basel Open and also the final day of the Basel Open in Basel, Switzerland. Hosted by the Free Speed Ultimate with the TD tournament director, Gilles Neve, who is actually was from Belgium. And we just see a replay of that catch there. Beautifully positioned throw because there were two defenders almost in that same space, but it got past one, and then the other one was just not in the right position. Yeah, well done to Stevens for putting uh, that up so perfectly. Again, gentle defense. Looks like they're just doing a match D at this point. Or could also be about the force and whether they're willing to let the unders go and just try and stop down the uh, the big downfield throws. As we just see again, Yonkers with that massive flick, although it's going to be close to the line. But it looks like the goal is being scored. Oh, and I, oh, except for the kick, I like the other parts. <laughs> oh, and he tries again. <laughs> I'm not sure what was happening with that. I don't think he's been happy either time with the kick. Third time was a charm. He got a lot more distance on that. As I believe it's now half with the eight points. Uh, eight, four in Mooncatcher's favour. And a reminder, uh, if you have just joined us, to like this stream. Subscribe to Ulti TV. Follow all the social media channels for Ulti TV and uh, look into membership as well to help support financially um, so that they can keep producing excellent quality live streams of games, not only in Europe but all around the world, free for the fans to watch and also free for fans to share 
and spread the love of Ultimate and teach others about Ultimate as a sport and as the community itself. Too right. And uh, if you subscribe to our our Patreon, if you sign up to be a patron of Alt TV, we will give you a shout out in the stream. That's right. You heard here right. Baz. The Thoit, who's done some great comments there on the YouTube channel. You too could get a shout out again. And we just see there the uh, interchangeable skills between soccer and uh, ultimate. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also to reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, let's be the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and beyond. Okay, just waiting for the uh, end of the half. To wrap up, Mooncatchers with a four-point lead, which is, uh, as we just saw in the last game, it is not insurmountable. But uh, the gentleman will have to have had a long chat during that halftime break and come up with something different for the defensive lineups. I do wonder, was there a party last night? Um. I don't know. Um, possibly not. They may have just kept all the teams to themselves. Yeah, I'm not sure what the regulations are in Switzerland at the moment. In England, clubs have been open for a while. But I don't know how that works if teams are sort of meant to be, you know, not Yeah, mixed. I think um, it obviously would depend a lot on the the different uh, nations and what their policies are as well as everyone's having to adapt and uh, do things slightly differently. Uh, here we don't do it with our, we don't do a, a spirit circle um, as much, although in Western Australia where we are, we're in a pretty good um, position with um, in terms of the outbreaks, but we are... <laughs> We've almost created our own little mini nations within Australia with them putting mm. some border restrictions, which is very, very different to normal, although it's a massive actual country. Um, I've just looked it up. So if you are a country without variants of concern and you've been uh, jabbed, there are no quarantine requirements. So... Oh, sorry. And I think yeah, you're... So I think a lot of them travelled here um, on the Friday before the Saturday games and uh, in terms of um, where they're staying and the, the classic set up for ultimate tournaments, I'm not too sure with this event whether they are all staying at the uh, same locations or if they've done their private um, arrangements. But uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of things that are slightly different as we start to get a little bit more freedom to have more international and national tournaments, depending on your country. We just see now Mooncatchers working it through. Quite a bit of pressure on the disc at the moment, although no one on the count meant there was no pressure on the thrower. And a big switching through there. Not many options free down line at all, which is why we're seeing so many swinging throws. So we try to see a give go. Again, that height mismatch. Oh, and it's a beautiful sweeping throw across field there. Mooncatch is getting the first point of the half. Looked like the pressure from gentlemen was 
was pretty high and they were forcing them under, not letting those deep cuts go. Mm. A win in some ways for Gentle, if we can keep up that intensive pressure, it's going to be harder for me to keep just knocking the point for them. And that is just a beautiful flick there. From Felix Nimek, who he, um, works for EUC, is also, I believe, is uh, Austrian in original nationality. Came with the Austrian team to under 20. I oh know, yeah, under 24s in uh, Perth a yeah. few years ago. That is Muller's fourth goal of the game. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> the fans getting a little bit too excited. Crowd control getting involved there. <laughs> Got security Gentle. on hand. That's right. Gentle now working out uh, moon catches aren't doing a zone this time. They've just gone for match D, which is um I haven't done that much bef of yet this game, and Gentle. So far, have um, been able to get a lot more distance and quickly than they have previously. But again, nothing. Oh, good bid there from the defender. Nothing really open downfield. Just little tiny cuts opening up space. Nice put out into space in front of that cut. And a pick's been called, so the disc will go back. So disc is now back in. I'm sure that Gent will be hoping to swing it out of that corner because there's really not many options and a lot of congestion as we get a bit more space opening up now. <laughs> oh, and uh, that is a nice somersault. I think I'll give it a uh, 6.25. <laughs> out, out of what? Landing. <laughs> uh, in terms of flair, I think that's probably going to be up in the highlight reel as well. Not too many goals combined with a somersault. So just questioning where his foot was originally before that beautiful... Yep, just going, yeah, that, that's where it was before he did the somersault. Now, if that's his standard celebration, I look forward to seeing that again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> And some excellent uh, fair-mindedness as well from Mooncatchers, just accepting the uh, accepting the perspective of the gentle player. That's right. So back within four points. And uh, we are seeing a little bit more pressure from the D-line for gentle. Mooncatchers having to work a little bit harder, but at the moment we haven't had a break for gentle defence. So... They've done a lot, but they still need to do a little bit more if they're going to uh, have a chance of coming away with the win. With about 35 minutes left of play. There is plenty of time, but they do need to stop the moon catchers from scoring this next point. have had to, uh, they haven't gained much ground despite having the disc for a long time. We just see now a huge swing pass and when a diving bid to keep that disc alive, the disc went a little bit further than intended. Mooncatch is losing ground on the last couple of throws and now getting closer towards their end zone. Oh and a great strong grab there. 
Miller again! <laughs> no, surely not. He's scored half of their goals now. He's just breaking in the stats now. Really? Just see, he also bids there on the throw. Low pass, just popping up nicely for the player. Puts it out into the space. Low speed on the D, but uh, strong hands there, taking it down. And a nice, a nicely weighted throw from Demise Maka there. And Moon catches at uh, some, you know, pressure from Gentle, but also Moon catches not making it easy for themselves on some of those dump throws, just putting them out quite far yeah. in front of the, the dump. Yeah, too much on them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Gentle will just hope, just remember those because I think at the moment with their defensive line they just need to go, we're close, we're getting closer. Oh, and Steph comes with the delivery for the crew for their lunch. <laughs> to, uh, uh, he's, I don't think he's going to make it here in time for my dinner, which is, uh, means I'll have to fend for myself. Oh, terrible. <laughs> One star right. delivery. <laughs> But five stars definitely for OTTV for this coverage. Great work there from Milan and his uh, sidekick there. Oh, good contest there. Gentle keeping that disc alive. And uh, yeah, that disc uh, was a, a lot lower than intended. And a timeout's been called after what has been quite a long point. We see the teams for the next game. Or we see the game two, game field, game field, game on field two. Bit of motion there from uh, Cusp and uh, Free Speed. And we'll hopefully be able to give you a score update from that field during this stream. You see they're just not able to catch it with the knees. It's not one that is practiced, so no one's going to hold it against him. Just while we watch this highlight reel, a reminder to like, comment and subscribe on this video to reach more people with live ultimate coverage. So during this timeout, which was called by Moon Catchers, you are in position of the disc. What do you think we're going to see when they come out on offense with the disc? I would expect, I think, some kind of maybe looking for a deep shot, or I guess a long shot. We're halfway now, so I guess I'm not sure it really technify, technically qualifies as a deep shot. Um, looks like they're setting up in a vertical. I'm hoping to see from Gentle some very fiery defense. There it is. Oh, and that was lovely open play from Mooncatchers. Now bringing their score up to 11 to 5. And you just start to feel, oh, now I like that celebration. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen too many dance ones. You just see that strong pressure there on the uh, mark. But wasn't it all phase for Mooncatcher's player there? And, uh, oh, we didn't get to see the dance, but we did see some celebration there. That's Demaray's third goal. Between him and Muller, they've got most of the points for this That's team. Right. If only you could somehow just shut down the two players. 
But unfortunately, I feel with Mooncatcher's lineup, even if you were able to, someone else would stand up and get the next couple of goals as well. I think that's absolutely right. <laughs> They've just got such tall and fast and consistent players. Okay, so gentle offense now. They're going to hope to get another goal, hold possession. Get themselves back within the five points to then have a break and let the D-line try and score themselves. Giving a bit of space there on the handlers to try and force it just to the lines, not really letting anything through the centre or the middle of the field. Oh, and that's a beautiful put down the line. Well, that's another goal for Van de Vega. The captains for this gentle team. You can see why. Right, we just watched this throw again. This beautiful forehand down further down the line and then another couple of fakes there. Beautiful flick. Outside in. I think that might have been Duskin who's on my list as not having a shirt number. So. <laughs> oh, don't mention. Yeah, yeah. He's a secret agent. <laughs> He's undercover. Yep. It should be 007, but they're only allowed two digits. <laughs> There's a team in the UK um, that train in Greenwich near the Meridian line, and all of their kit has like six numbers on it. They do it like the latitude. It's like oh, yeah. zero, 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 <laughs> zero, four. All right, and on field two, we've got uh, the cusp score versus free speed. Cusp is up 8-6 at the moment, so another close game on the field two. And uh, Fella looks a little bit, uh, a little bit disappointed that that throw came out, maybe. <laughs> you can fake the scoopers, but don't actually throw them. <laughs> That's right. So Gentle now with a chance for a break. Really trapped. Oh, a good pass down the line with a hard cut coming through. Again, not really letting them get off that sideline. Going to have to do a, probably a lot of give and goes as we see. Oh, oh, valiant effort on a very difficult catch. It's probably knocked the wind out of his sails as well. Yeah, incredible bid from Vandenbroek. Just, oh, we're going to see it again here. It's a very fast disc. It looks like he gets quite a big piece of it, but just. Oh pushed it further away. Right, we, I'm hoping for a Callahan. I haven't seen one yet this tournament, but uh, things could happen. But not, not so far. It's going to be hard to get one at this stage. As a huge put, just gaining space, but going out, and I think it went out quite a way back towards the Gentles end zone, offensive end zone. Did it even come back in? Uh, no, yeah. well, so, yeah, it may have been from the throw. Yeah. Which would be great news for Gentle. Absolutely. I think they're still establishing that as they've gone now to pick up the disc. And apparently there is a Belgian team that their numbers are their heights in oh. centimetres. So they will be three digits. 
And a side note, they're all huge. So thanks <laughs> there, Dr. De Goliath, for that. Pairing is pairing in the ultimate community. I'm going to try and look up that team later on, but not right now, because for now, focus as always on the game in front of us with Gentle hoping to get a break and get themselves within four points. And if they do have a comeback, it will probably have been the one for the ages. As we just see, oh, great effort there, but it looks like a call has been made back at the throw. Stall out calls, I think. And patting his head. Ooh. What a bid though. Oh. oh. That's the kind of thing where you play the hero by <laughs> Glacius underneath because he keeps that disc alive. So uh, disc is coming back in. Still with Gentle. Oh, and that's that's a good D there. Gentle D needing to work hard to stop the moon catchers transitioning quickly, working that disc down. These gentle players look like they're scrambling a bit. They've got to stop down, stop those options downfield. Big floating swing throws back and forth. And he's been dangerous, the player with the disc in hands now. Yonkers is uh, just a nice little pass there. So 12-6. I really feel for uh, PSR on the, on the Jantos team because obviously when it comes back in after a contested stall out, you only have two seconds to make that throw. And the defense know that and all your offense know that as well yeah. so it's so frantic to try and get that disc out and unfortunately it came out into the waiting foot of the gentle player that's right it was a great d as well there so any throw is going to be a hail mary so sometimes you can hope for at least some distance but they weren't even able to get that the the moon catches, <laughs> moon catches quickly picking it up and uh it was all over at that point. So six points behind, about 40 minutes left. So plenty of time and uh, a few opportunities there and a bit of promise shown by the gentle side, but moon catches at the moment, still remaining in control of the game. Captured green in their zone out again. Not enough as much. Oh, just, just <laughs> gentle, just working it well between the handlers, trying to create some options. Nothing really on downfield. Swinging through across there. We see that beautiful sideline camera. A put out into space. Oh, and a lovely take. It didn't, it, you know, it didn't look like he maybe needed to lay out for that. Obviously, we don't have the, the best idea of how fast the disc is moving here, but lovely form. I think from Smasat. Right, and signs that it's only just become summer over there in Europe on the sidelines. As we see again this movement, good patience from the gentle handlers. And this throw here, I think, I don't know, maybe figured his legs weren't going to be as fast as just making that distance because it was hard to beat. He had two opponents and I think also that put a bit of pressure in his mind about whether to lay out or not. Got to make sure, right? That's right. Now, also in the other previous game that wasn't streamed uh, was 
the Red Bulls from Bologna against Flying Angels Bern from Switzerland. From Bern in Switzerland. Uh, <laughs> and Bern won uh, on Universal Point. So another close game on Universal Point as we just watched on our stream um, in the earlier time slot. And we are hoping for a similar outcome in this game with a comeback from Gentle. Is all we need for that to happen. Let's go, Gentle. Everyone loves an underdog. That's right. Moon catches at the moment have just been putting on a bit of a clinic on offense. The player there just getting into space. This is the opponent giving him the freedom to move, which is always a bit risky. Excellent movement by Yonkers there to get free. And it's our top goal scorer of the match, Matthew Muller, with another goal, bringing his total to six. Um, what? <laughs> and I'm That's... sure at least three of those have been Yonkers to, uh, to Muller. We've got a real connection going there. Oh, and that is just a beautiful outside in throw there. That's not, that's disheartening when uh, someone scored almost more points than your entire team. This gentleman scores seven and uh, he scored six. Yeah. So Gentle, the O-line, I think for Gentle is, is uh, has done it quite well after probably the first, it took them probably about 15 minutes, I'd say, to be able to work around the defense from Mooncatchers. And I think, unfortunately, it was that learning curve at the start, which has meant they're now in a very difficult position where they are six points behind and uh, two points away from the end of the game of 15. Where it's going to be very difficult to uh, get themselves out of that position. Again, it's a return to that zone pressure we were seeing at the handlers, which has done the moon catches so well early in the game. I think the difference being that Gentle is now being a little bit more patient in terms of waiting for the opportunities and not trying to rush things. So they work it through, throw it into space. There's not many free options downfield. As we... <laughs> Now see them bringing score up 8-13. Nice assist from Veer, reckon, to Smithert. One thing I will say, just looking at my spread of goals and assists here, is that Gentle are um, a little bit more kind of spread out in terms of who's getting goals, who's getting assists. It's kind of two there, three there, popular ones, whereas as we've already said, the moon catchers have a couple of very consistent goal scorers and assisters in their team. Right, so gentle D line with a uh, massive task ahead of them meaning to break moon catches to have any chance of keeping those hopes alive. They haven't had many opportunities before and they will need to play at their very highest level I think to be able to do so.
And with there, see great pressure on the disc, really not giving them any options down the line. Just hitting the turf. And uh, just a call being made here. Possibly a pick downfield, but lack of hand signals there makes it difficult. Oh, and a great grab. Needing to stretch all the way up as we see the hammer. Oh, just not coming off as intended. You could probably hear the disappointment in my voice because I really wanted them to get another point. But it just feels like a wasted opportunity with that one. However, they could have another chance. Oh, but big, strong hands from Moon catches. Oh! And all of a sudden... I think it was uh, the person who uh, did that hammer that didn't quite work before has then just put great pressure on the defence. And all of a sudden, Gentle are now back in with the chance. Again for a break point. A massive huck downfield to a one-on-one -on -one contest. The Gentle player in a better position. And now, I think it's probably a bit too early to say it, but I do want to say it anyway. So here we go. We've got a game on our hands. Come back train. And Gentle really looking like they've got a fire lit under them now. They do not want this game to be over. That's an excellent read and catch under pressure from Arsha Fiesta. That's right, so it looks like a timeout's being called. Moon catchers may be looking to try and slow any momentum that Gentle are trying to build. It's not cool. Right, so again, Gentle D line. Staying on, most of the lineup, it looks like it's been unchanged. We will need to run hard again. The sun may be slightly in the eyes of moon catchers as they're heading towards the other end of the field. We have seen a few glimpses of the disc shimmering in the sunlight to show that there is quite bright, a bright and beautiful day down at Basel, Switzerland. So they'll pr possibly be hoping to force it high in the air to uh, make it difficult. Although with the height of the Mooncatcher squad, you probably don't want to give them an opportunity to use their height advantage. It's very true. And as we wait for the disc to come in, massive shout outs again, Philip Haas and Sebastian Carter, our newest members. Happy shout out to you and welcome to the Cool Kids Club. Also a shout out to being one of our ultimate producers, Patrick from MadX.nl. Thank you very much for supporting our ultimate coverage. Right, so Moon Catchers there, strong, straight up the force on the handler there. Trying to shut down those big throws from Benjamin Yonkers again with the disc. So dangerous with that height and those long arms. Oh, and as we see that beautiful cross field pass, although it's going to be close to the line as you see the cone getting taken out. Oh, and that is a nice cut of space there by the moon catchers. Now 14 points, one point away from game. Guess who that player is, Al? Oh no, not again. <laughs> not again. Seven points. This man has now scored. Mattia Muller. It's like the Michael Jordan of Ultimate happening here. <laughs> He's all over the board. 
certainly did look a little bit like the, uh, the logo of the sports kit with the jumping, uh, mm. jumping man. That's right. That's going to be the new version for Ultimate, that kind of arm out. <laughs> I think we'll probably need to uh, talk to the uh, people that make the cleats if they want a new different design of the logo there. <laughs> Some air ultimate cleats, little pump up tubes, something oh, like that. Yes. <laughs> Some high tops, all the fashion. <laughs> Alright, so I think Mooncatchers will probably be hoping for a break and uh, just finish with the high run. Have a longer break. Quite a few of them. There's a massive pull. We'll wait for a moment as it comes back into screen. <laughs> Oh, and they're in the Callahan territory, but uh, hopefully Gentle won't rush things. Feeling a little bit nervous. Big arm swing there, hoping for something. Didn't connect. Really trapped on that line. Now we're having to dump. Not really much on downfield, but now a big swing's giving them some more space. And that... Uh, Zone D there on the handlers really worked a treat the entire game. Just cheeky little gaining bit of distance, but again, really no options further field. As we just see now, a little bit more movement, hoping for the give and go down the line. Just a one-on-one -on -one contest in there at the end zone at the moment. Not really any free players. They'll probably try to swing it off that line. Oh, no. <laughs> Instead, they'll thread the needle. <laughs> Why use the rest of the field space if you can do that? <laughs> Maybe need a meter or two, but a long strip. But yeah, uh, Gentle's doing really well to gain yards with those long swings across the field while the, the pup is sort of waiting to to catch up, or rather trying to catch up. Just gradually working their way up the field. That's right. Nice flick there down the line. I think probably everyone else didn't expect him to do that because there wasn't, didn't look like there was going to be much hope of it getting through, which maybe was why it was successful. So now 10-14. And uh, the gentle defense is going to have to work uh, again incredibly hard. Game to 15, so if Moon catches score, it is all over. Hopefully, it will not be. That's right. Both of the games so far in this that we've streamed have been um, really close games. There's uh, Universe Points last game here. This game not so close in the scoreline, although there has been quite a good comeback from Gentle, who were, uh, I think, 4-love at the start, or 4-nil. That was, sorry, a bit of a tennis throwback there with that last <laughs> score. <laughs> it sounds more friendly. There's uh, Mooncatchers getting into space on that sideline, hoping to shut down the big, deep passes. Unfortunately, his defender is caught behind him. And just popped up. Yeah, and uh, he's not really happy about that, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gesturing. I'm not that tall. That's right. Confused me for Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely was a lot higher. Although yeah, the, the jump was a bit mistimed as well, but... Uh, it, was, it did not need to be as high, but now we've got Gentle in a position where they could extend the game, although there's a bit of chat happening here. So I think people just sorting out how what defence they're doing, potentially. So it looks like Mooncatchers have gone for a uh, match D. Uh, maybe not. No, now that everyone's reset. I don't know what they were all doing originally. It's a bit more like what we have had every other point now. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, great pressure there on the disc. And now Mooncatch is ready to strike. Not very far out. Really suffocating defense from Mooncatch is there. Lots of things in just really, really tight now. Yeah, not quite in, didn't run in. Again, it's that Yonkers. He's got those beautiful flicks as we see another flick there. Crossfield creating space. Oh, and that's a nice higher grab this time from the original target on the other side. It's now, I believe, it's now got it taking the game 15 to 10. Nice game there. Good, good spirit from two clubs coming from Belgium. A reminder to like and subscribe and share. Look into uh, Ulti TV, follow all the social media. You can probably vote. They'll also have highlights and memes and other fun things and competitions as well. So be sure to follow Ulti TV on all the great social channels. And uh, I'll just let you know who is coming up next on the stream. Potentially. No, at the moment we're still waiting results from the other field. So there is another game coming up very shortly. In about 25 minutes is the next game. So in the meantime, grab yourself a cuppa or a cold drink depending on your time zone and your own preferences. Like, subscribe, look into the membership for Ulti TV. Thanks so much for joining. I've been Elshak, coming to you live from Perth, Australia, joined by my wonderful co-host <laughs> over across the pond, as they would say. I thought that was for Australia, uh, not even Australia, America and, and Europe. Is it several ponds you have to cross to get well, to... I thought, the, I thought like the cross the pond is, is, is you guys and... Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay. Across <laughs> the world. <laughs> across the world. There we go. Across the water and some land mass. <laughs> right. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in for the next game. And we've also then got the final at 2.15 local time. And catch you later. players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make the ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, let's be the best in the world. Become a member and fund our work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Dot TV.